So in the lower limbs, again, you can do this with the patient seated. So bring your leg, let your legs dangle there, okay? So that's a knee reflex. I would usually just come down. Now again, if you're sitting, nice big swing, and you get the tendon reflex. I hope you haven't been injuring your knee there, okay? You could also just support the knee like that. Tendon hammer like this. There's the patellar tendon there. Nice firm strike. Again, nice firm strike. If you do this sort of thing, you're not going to get a tendon reflex, okay? The ankle jerk, when you're doing the ankle jerk, just bring your toes up hard as you can. This tendon here is your tibialis anterior tendon, okay? Now if that tendon is contracted and I try and do an ankle reflex, nothing happened because that's the antagonist of the Achilles tendon. So what you've got to do is relax the ankle and really without letting the patient know you're doing, you want to gently put a bit of tension in the, te in the Achilles tendon and then again let your hammer swing to get the reflex. It's also perfectly legitimate to do a plantar strike where you again you put your fingers at the sole of the foot, slowly stretch the Achilles tendon and then uh, smack the reflex like that. Because that does the same thing, it creates the acceleration force in the Achilles tendon muscle spindles that, that uh, generate the reflex. Same again here, so again you can passively dorsiflex the foot. I used to say the tibialis anterior tendon is the enemy of the ankle jerk, so it doesn't really work if the foot's actively dorsiflex. If you passively dorsiflex and strike, you get an ankle jerk. So that's how you do the ankle and knee reflexes.